Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to draw a really cool dragon. First of all, we're going to start off with the eye by doing a small curve from the top off. Like, try to do it in the middle of the paint so we can save spot for like the rest. Then, we go down and make another arch with just upside down connecting to the top of the arch. Then from over here, we're going to do another small arch. And another one. Make an eye. Now from over here, we're going to make mouth. By drawing over the eye, not too far away from it, just a little close. And then down. We go down a little bit. And now when you notice, notice that you're going down a little bit. You go up. And then you go up. Make a more small V, make a make a V, and down. So, if, as you can see, you can make a spike, and then another spike from the top, and it makes a V shape, which is what we want. Now, from over here, we're gonna da we'll go down here and make a small um, curve, just like not too much of a curve. We're gonna try to make it as as um, pretty like um, long, so it touches close to the eye, close to the end of the eye. Then from over here, we're gonna go down. And once you think it's a, once you think it's close to that part of the the small tooth, you go up, make another small tooth, and make another big tooth, just to copy like the one we did behind. Um, over it. Then from over here, we're gonna go down and we're gonna make another spike. This time we're gonna try and make it as bigger than these two, and a bigger, smaller spike. That's supposed to be bigger than both of the big spike teeth. Now from over here, we're gonna go up to where the mouth is smiling. We're gonna go a little more, make a small arch, and back with another spike. There's a lot of spikes on this dragon. Now from over here, we're gonna make a horn. We're just gonna try and make it like sort of squiggly, not too much, sort of squiggly. And then we're gonna go down to make it even less squiggly. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go down, <laughs> make another, another, another line. Now from over here, we're gonna make a line, small lines may add to texture. We're gonna add more texture in, like, and in, just for now. And now from over here, we're gonna make the ear. So from the ear, we're gonna make a small curve. And from that curve, we go down to make a V shape. And then we go a little more down to make the ear. Now from over here, we're also gonna do that again. Like a small lemon, exactly, but like with a cut inside. Now, just a little further away from, from that cut, we're gonna make another cut. Up, now, yeah, spike. Now from over here, so we can make it more realistic, we're gonna make a small arch so that it can be the inner ear. So we're gonna put a little bit of light in it. Now, from over where we go down a little more. bit, just a tiny bit, because we're going to continue on that later. Now, from over here, we're going to go. We're going to go up to make us an, <laughs> another spike, but this time it's going to be the horn, and down, and a smaller spike. Oop, and now. Now, from over here, we're also going to make mini ones. We're just gonna make spikes, but they're they're going from this way. They're not trying to. They're not going straight forward, so it can be more realistic. And to add a bit more detail, we're gonna make smaller ones in between them. Now we're gonna make a small nostril, just so I can breathe. You don't want to suffocate a dragon. And from over here, we're gonna make small teeth. They're going to be making. Gonna be making um. A sort of um, different way that they're gonna be moving sideways so that like they can 
<laughs> you know, it just makes more difference. Just like the, just like the top spikes. Try to make them small because we're going to have space for the, something more in the mouth. Now from over here, we're going to make a small line, like a thin line, coming from the top and the bottom of the teeth. So that that can be the other side of the of the map of the jaw, and we're gonna make even more teeth, but we're gonna try and make them small as we can, so that they don't stand up too much. Now from over here, we're going to make a nice wiggly tongue by making some wiggles. We're gonna make um, another <laughs> spike. So it's going to be forked. We're going to make a V shape. And we're going to retrace it back to the mouth. Now from over here, we can make some patterns, but we're not going to start for now. Because now we need to go to the bottom part. Now since we've done the the head, now we're going to go down. So I'm, well, I'm lightly tracing the body of the dry of the of the dragons so that um so that we don't make any mistakes and we have to rub it out because i hate rubbing out and it just makes the picture look even worse than when we didn't rub it out so we're gonna make this not too big of an arch just a small arch now from we're gonna go down now from over here, you see this this line? This is gonna be where the arm comes in. It's gonna be where the arm comes in. Just adjust, adjust the camera. Now from over here, we go down. So what I did over here is make a, a big curve, not too big, just a decent curve. We're gonna curve back. And we're going to make a claw by adding a spike. You guys probably know how to do a spike by now. By now. now we're going to do the same thing over here. So where we started, where we ended, we do another small curve and back down. Claw. Let me do this slow now. Now you get the idea. Now from over here, we're gonna go, we're gonna try to make this dead and slim. And now once we've reached halfway through the hand, we're gonna make it's this small line. And we're gonna make another small line connect from there. And a spike. We can't get rid of spikes, can we? Now from the halfway middle of the spike, we go up, and a spike. You get the idea by now. And from over here, we're also gonna have to do, you see where I did the, the chest? I'm gonna start from the chest and make this dragon just like sort of walking-ish. So we're gonna make his claw going backwards. <laughs> exactly. And we're gonna make the same thing. We're gonna have to make this slow curve. Now from over here, we're gonna go halfway through that and we're gonna go there. Small spikes. And from over here, you see where the, the ear is? We're going to go sort of down. Um, one sec. From where the ear is, I'm going sort of down. To the end of the body. From over here. And then we're going to have some... Yeah, let's just not do the spikes now. Right, I do that in the end. 
And we're moving more to the body from over here. Now, so where I started the that hand, I'm gonna go up to make a curve. From over where the spark spike starts, we're gonna go down to make the belly. Now halfway through, you see where the, we we finished. We're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna make a C. Yes, a C. And from this C, we're gonna go down. Now we from this from this C, we're gonna, after like I do the spike and the C, like the C, which is like a C, and then we go down. Make a small like line, and we're gonna go down until where we did the like, and we're gonna go. We're gonna make a curve, and do the same thing that we did over here. Doing it slow for you guys. Now after you've done that. We're gonna add the spike, the the I mean the claws. And I'm over here we're gonna make that line again, like through this. And we're gonna go down, not too much. Spike. And we're gonna go up. Made a mistake there. Fine. I'll just redo that. And well, we do a spike. Nice. And we, since it's the end of paper, I go down. We're gonna make the we're gonna make the tail come out from the from this from this side over here. But let me just move the camera so you can see. Yeah. So we're gonna make it move to this way. But for now, we're gonna I'm gonna try and focus on this part of the body. Go down. Now, since I've done the head, uh, now I need to make, um, now I need to make the spikes for the neck from over here. We're going to space them out a little bit so we can um, have space for some of the smaller spikes that are coming in. Just keep on going. Yeah, so I've continued. I've just made a small bit of the spike just coming out from there, and from over here we're gonna just make smaller spikes. Nice. Now from over here, since to the chest, it's not in line with the with the stomach. So we're gonna make we're gonna go down a little bit. To make, we're just gonna go to the same like same distance as the stomach and yeah, make another line. Now from over here, we're just gonna make small, smaller lines. Um, so from the neck, we're gonna do this curve and smaller spikes in between them, in, like smaller spikes in there, so we can pretend that this is like the the. The body underneath the dragon, exactly. Um, so now back to the tail that I was talking about. We're gonna make it come out, see, not too far away from over here. We're gonna make it come out, make a nice squiggly line. We're gonna make it pretty long, up to where the this claw is, close to where this claw is. And we're gonna go make a small spike. And we're gonna go, we're gonna trace it back to the beginning. Now from over here, we're gonna make, just to add some detail, we're gonna add, make this spike, not continue it down, not, we're not gonna do it down to the end of the tail. And we're gonna do another bigger spike. This time we're gonna continue it down to the tail. We do the same thing to the other side. And 
from over here, we're just going to make more spikes. <laughs> Big spikes in the middle. Leave some space for the smaller ones. And small ones. And try to make them, like, in the flow of the wavy tail. So, like, they are up and down. Get it? Now, from over here, just so we can add more detail, we, you see from this spike, this small spike, from where the, the claw is, we're going to start a small trace back. And from over here, we just make some more um, lines, just like we did to the stomach. Now, we are, now that I have completed the dragon, I can start making patterns on it, so, um, and like textures, so you can do your own textures, I really don't mind, but for me, if you want to follow along, you can do so, so I'm making small scales around the eye, they're just small boxes really, and they're just huddled up to each other, as you can see there, there's like more sort of pointy boxes. Cut all up together, just cramped in around the eye. I'm not gonna do this to the whole dragon because that would take some time. Since this is only a tutorial on how to draw the dragon itself. But if you want to do that yourself, well I don't say no I won't say no. It actually look pretty cool. Because I have tried that before in many of my previous drawings. But now I'm just doing it around the eye. And so that we can like continue through the eye. I'm just going to make um, like a small stream of them. While I'm past the eye. And just a tiny bit of them, just kind of far away from the eye. Now, since I've done that, I'm going to make a small a bit of texture to the no to the nose to the I mean, yeah, the the snout. I'm gonna make some <laughs> spikes. Well, they're not aren't spikes. They're just like small. Uh, well. Stripes on him. So that looks cool. Now, I'm not going to try and do that on everything. So over here, I'm going to make some more, like, just tiny swirls just to add some detail to that. Now to the body. I, I have not, I am just going to make some more of the tiny little scales I did by the by the eye but I'm just gonna make a thin row of them just scatter some around the around the body just to add more detail too and um, just to say it's a faster way to do these um, scales is by uh, making s circles Circles do look a little more crowded, but at the end of the day, they still look um, fine and <laughs> really cool. Now I'm just going to add just a few, just drifting off, just to add more texture. And now I've done that, I'm going to make um, more of these patterns around the body. Do you think I've added a little too much? I probably have, but who cares? It looks cool. You know, other things that I like to do is just swirls around the body, but that takes it like I. But if you do, if you do make swirls, I think it's better to do for the whole body because if you do just one small place, that's just not gonna help really, and it's not it's not gonna look cool at all. 
I'm going to make a tiny bit of them over here, not too much because I personally like the tail. So now I've done, if you got, I think I'm going to do, do you think I should do wings? Okay, I'll do wings. So from over here, I'm going to go and make a small arch. Wigs don't take much time. You see, um, so now if you see, I've connected, uh, it's connected to where the horn is. So since I've connected it to the horn, I don't want to, I don't want it to go, uh, I don't really want it to pass through the horn. So I start on the other side of the horn and go up like this. And once I've reached partly close to that piece of the horn, I go make sort of arch. Now from over here, I'm going to make, I'm going to pretend that I'm simply done as a, um, a spike and go like this. Yes, we're going to like, we're going to make like a spike coming out like this. And that's because, uh, well, this is going to be the wing. Now for the last, we're going to try and do like three, three spikes minimum minimum so now for the last spike we're gonna we're gonna make it smaller and it's gonna curve back down over here and now to just add a bit of texture we're gonna make small you know holes looking through it now i'm gonna make small a claw a couple of claws just coming out from here just because it looks cool and we're going to make a frame for it. Now, I'm going to make this sort of spike that's coming up and going down to the first spike. And then after that, I'm going to trace it back up. I'm going to, and then I'm going to go down this part of the, so to this, to the edge of this spike. And I'm going to go up and back down to this part and then i'm going to go to the very very top of the and back to the arch now i sort of actually ruined it so i can fix it so i'll fix it by making parts come out but this actually pretty looks cool even with the wings sort of dreaded dreadful wings i sort of fixed it right now so from over here now i'm going to make spikes come out just to make it look more rad and some more textures like this and now we've completed our beautiful dragon we need to get coloring you can color whatever you want but um you can also copy my coloring at the end of my okay, guys i hope you liked my video and this is the finishing my finishing dragon i hope you like my video i hope I, you like my video and found out that drawing a dragon, drawing this dragon is pretty easy. And I hope, I hope you please subscribe and like, and do comment because I do really like seeing people being appreciative of my drawings because I did take some time on this. So please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. If you also can, please do a comment and. That would just really help me so badly. So I hope you like my video. Thanks for watching. And 